Hello everyone, this is Genevieve T. Avelia and today let's talk all the lesson about nature of teaching and teaching roles. This discussion is all about of my topics. These are the what is teaching and the UNESCO's four pillars of learning. So let's defend first what is teaching. So what is teaching? Teaching is a process of educating a person with theoretical concepts and it is a kind of a knowledge transfer between a teacher and a student. So teaching is an act or action to educate the person or the students with the theoretical concepts and also the knowledge of the teacher will share and give it to the students to impart knowledge for the learning and to the learners okay what is the role of the teacher the role of the teacher is to act as a facilitator of learning by leading discussions the one who leads the discussion the ones who deliver who introduce the discussions and also provides opportunities to ask open-ended questions this is to ask a questions and also it will be answered by the students and guiding the processes and tasks and enabling the active participation of learners and to engage with ideas so they are the ones who guide the processes in the in the whole discussions and also they will give a test to to enable and to assure that the active participation or collaboration have that in that task so that the learners will cooperate and collaborate with each other because of because of the test so if that happen the the students have the collaborative and have the have the best work of their of of their of their task and also to engage with ideas they will exchange and also they will exchange ideas and and give ideas to each other okay teachers are occupied in schools so of course they have the nasila nasila sa schools because they are mentors they are teachers so because the main purpose of educating the children is to grow as good citizens in the world so the children will go to school and the teachers are always in schools so children today are the future leaders, educators of the society. Therefore, the teaching can be considered as an important concept. Of course, this is this is an important concept because all individuals are need to to educate themselves to be the future leaders of the society and in the in the whole the whole community and also in the country okay so another meaning is teaching is the process of attending to pe to people's needs experiences and feelings so because of teaching the people's needs and experiences and feelings are provided Okay, teaching provides the people's needs, experiences, and feelings. They, they teach it, they, sh they share, and they, they, they have the knowledge about it. That's why, that's why the children have to go to school because, because of their needs, experiences, and feelings that 
the teacher could give that and help them to to, to grow and develop that and also guide them in the in the learning process so that's why and making specific involvement to help them learn in that particular things oh yes teachers are really want to help and also they could help because this is their job this is their work this is their this is their this is their the important job the important job of their profession is to help to guide to accommodate to entertain and all things because you are a teacher okay so that's the end of the topic that what is teaching i hope you learned something about it and we have to go deep in that discussion so let's move on the four pillars of learning so what is it the unesco's four pillars of learning are learning to know learning to do learning to be and learning to live together so let's discuss it one by one so the first one is learning to know what is learning to know it is more on the mastery of learning tools than with the acquisition of structured knowledge so it is the learning tools so if i will ask you what is your learning tools to attain and acquire knowledge so what is it so for me my learning tools to acquire knowledge and the knowledge is in communication you have to speak you have to talk then also memorization in memorizing in the mind in thinking we have to adapt that because it's the most important in getting a knowledge that's why the learning to know so it's it's it should have the learning tools for you to know what's what you have to learn and you have to adapt that knowledge okay so this is the learning tools the numeracy literacy and life skills so what is the numeracy it's about number so obviously it it's it's math it involves math problem solving so for me um, i'm not so very good in problem solving so i'm not that not the, i have and I'm, I'm not belong that numeracy also um but but i'm 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 good but i'm not so i'm not so good okay so we, let's go to the literacy literacy is the ability to read and write the ability to think create and act so that's that's our learning tools so how you can how you can how you can how you can know and learn if you don't if you don't know how to read you don't know how to write how to comprehend or how to understand and also the life and also the life skills so it is it is in your own behavior in your own personality characteristics that you have in yourself it's the life skills okay so mastery of these learning tools is both a means and end so there's there is a means and there is an end so these are means for the students to understand the world around them so the means of the learning tools is is in the students is there in their self to understand to under to understand the the nature the the nature of the nature of the the nature of the particular things that that they need to understand the 
the things around it okay the world of that of that particular things you have to discover you have to explore and understand and know more about it okay so these are ends for the students that can be derived from the pleasures on understanding knowledge and discovery so the ends of that must learning tools is when you have when you when you are you're mm, you're only you are only get a pleasure on understanding knowledge and discovery because you entertain because you get because you get enter you get entertained about that so you you will understand you have to seek knowledge and you discovered that particular things because of pleasures okay let's go to the, the Lars commission learning to know implies learning how to learn so the components of learning to learn are the concentration memory skill and thinking this is so important of learning to learn concentration you have to focus of what you read what you listen what you observe so that to collect and gather information in that particular things you cannot you cannot gather and collect data and collect information if you will not focus on that particular area and also in the memory skill the memory skill is in is to memorize memorize the things you don't uh, you don't need to forget you don't have to forget that things if that is so important in your in, in your daily living in your life for you to success and achieve your goals you have that memory skill and also thinking thinking is the ability to think it's the ability if you if you are thinking then you are then then it then followed by the action so it's very important it's very important if you think the good ones then because of the action is also the good one if you think that the learning is if you think that the learning is so very entertaining wonderful amazing and interesting then you are the you have the abilities to to understand that discover and explore that because you get entertained because because you want to learn about that not not just not just the pleasures that is the pleasures you have feel that you have that's your feeling now yeah because it's pleasure then I, then i'll get it then i then, then i want to then i want to understand it but it's it's your it's your willingness to learn that particular particular thing okay so what is concentration it is the process of improving concentration skills can take different forms and can be aided with the various learning skills so concentration it's the process of, of improving so when you concentrate concentrate okay you have to you have to concentrate uh to focus to focus okay example to focus what you read so in that part in that particular in the particular of, of what you read is to is to take the different forms diba? so when when you when you concentrate that you understand more and also it, it can adds it can adds it can adds the more learning skills because because of comprehension comprehending of in the in that in in what you read and of of collecting and gathering of information so in that learning skills is so important and that is the concentration processes okay memory skills it is 
learned by heart not just learned in in thought in in what is in your mind it also learned by heart so it associated memorization has to be carefully cultivated and learned so you have to memorize that the things or the significance word the important words or the, the important important things you have to to be careful because because is that is learning that is learning you and, and that learning will automatically cultivate the the root of all information and also and also you can gain and you can gain that knowledge that that leads you to a better person because in that in that memorizing in the way of memorizing the things you bring this to the other world which is in the other concept of learning okay I mean that is memory skills so let's go to the thinking skills it should encompasses both practical problem solving and abstract thought so in the thinking skills it involves problem solving critical thinking and abstract thought okay so that's all for the learning to know let's move on the learning to do so what is it so in the traditional perspective it is certified skills so in the UNESCO's perspective is the personal competence it is in their person it's in the personal it is in the person's competence their personality their characteristics their own okay their own characters their own personality their own personality of competence okay what is personal competence okay it is mix of skills and talents so it is in the persons it is in the person's personality that they have the skills abilities and talents in themselves okay it is combining certified skills acquired through technical and vocational training social behavior personal initiative and willing to take to take the risk so it's combining certified skills certified skills is is having the different skills in your in yourself so it is acquired through technical and vocational training the also the social behavior your behaviors in the social in in in, in intermingle inter, in intermingled of others the personal initiative in your in your own pers personal willingness to take the risk okay it's personal competence so to implement this in the classroom what 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 strategies what strategies do you do you will use to to keep the learning wait okay to keep the learning grow and there is a process of learning okay you can use the multiple intelligence and learning styles so there are theories of multiple and multiple of intelligences so the ex most uh, best example is the Howard Gardner's gardeners multiple intelligence okay it is the key ingredients creative and innovative activities so that um, the, mm, the strategies or styles are also the key ingredients will be creative and innovative activities okay it can help the students to uh, to learn and also to keep in their mind that 
they are able to to attain knowledge that um, that based on their learning styles and intelligence okay so that's all of the learning um uh, wait for um learning to do that's all for the learning to do and let's move on the learning to live together so what is it to learn to live together is to teach students about human diversity of course because in the classroom there is diversity because because it is um that the students are really different from each other number one of number one reason is their characteristics their personality there's um their traditions their cultures that's one of the best why they are why we we are they we are the first we are the first in the classroom okay to learn to live together instill in them an awareness of the similarities and interdependence of all people teach them and get aware that there that there is the similarities and and the differences of all of all kinds of people so in the classroom teach the students to respect to understand the 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 similarities and differences of each of each individuals okay so so to learn to live together also children should be thought to understand other people's reactions by looking at things from their point of view so in the classroom you should you should teach the children to understand to understand to understand their class classmates or other people for their opinions and ideas to, and ideas of their of their classmates and and also those who surround whose people around around them so by looking at things from from their point of view that is the how you will respect that okay how you will respect that that this this is this is his or her point of view so so because you are because you are different then then the best you can do is to perform the good behavior and that is respect and understand his or her opinion and ideas and also his pers perspective of that particular thing okay and the spirit of empathy is encouraged in schools it has a positive effect on young person's social behavior for the rest of their lives so the schools must be must be have the 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 spirit of empathy that the that all that all students have in that have in that i know mm, have in that behavior have that attitude so that all students will 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 um will build a good relationship towards each other's differences and similarities mm, okay that's it towards the similarities and differences and differences for 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 um for the good and for the right for their of their lives of their also of their selves because that's that is a a good point of view for for learning and respecting each others each other points of view and 
also you have to um, you have to wait. you have to act you have to act the right behavior in the schools or or in or inter or interacting with other people okay that's it so school should promote social awareness acceptance and respect so of course the schools must be must to must and should promote a social awareness acceptance and respect so in the social awareness is the students need to get aware that there is the similarities and differences of each of each individuals in that in that in that place or in that classrooms and also acceptance you have to accept that he is different from you okay and also respect because he is different from, because the because of the differences you have to respect each other to live longer and to understand each other for for building a relationship a good relationship towards each other because that is the important behavior and attitude to to show and portray in the inside the classroom especially when when the teacher when the teacher is uh, is also the one who leads that who leads that who leads who leads that students and who leads that students for for the right behavior of the student in the classroom or or, or in interaction of 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 others students okay that's all for learning to live and together and let's move on to learning to be so it the rights and responsibilities so these are the mind and body intelligence sensitivity aesthetics individuality imagination spirituality independence judgment critical thinking creativity and human freedom these are the things the rights and responsibilities of the lear the learners for their success and achieve their goals okay the commission powerfully re asserted a fundamental principle it is a uh, education should contribute to every person's complete development so the development is the in mind and body so their intelligence sensitivity the aesthetic and the appreciation and also the spirituality that is that every person's need to complete that development okay all people should receive in their childhood and youth an education that equips them to develop their own independent critical way of thinking and judgment so that they can make up their own minds on the best courses of action and the different circumstances in their lives so all people should receive uh, should have their education should have their education to equip them to develop their own their, their their own personality their own skills abilities and capabilities they have in their self so the example is that independent critical way of thinking and judgment so so that also they can make up their own minds their own critical thinking to the best courses of action or or work how they how they will how they will act the different circumstances in their lives 
so they will choose that on their own perceptions of life okay the basic assumptions is stated in the report learning to be is it is the aim of development so learning to be is the aim of development is to complete fulfillment of man in all the richness of his personality so it is the fulfill it is is it is the com the complete you have to you have to be you have to you have to achieve your goals you have you have the you have the things to success in in all and also in all the richness of his personality so because of your personality because of the because of the right and just with your personality then you have when you have the when you have the opportunity to be success because because of improving and developing yourself in acquiring knowledge in, in attending edu edu education and to be educated person okay that's it okay the commission embraces one of the complexity of his forms of ex of expression and his various commitments are as individual okay the member of a family and of a community citizen producer inventor of techniques and also create creative dreamer okay this human development which begins at birth and continues all through a person's life of course it begins at birth and it will continue and it will continue uh, in your journey of life is a dialectic process which is based both on self-knowledge and on relationships with other people so the process on that development is based on the, on your self-knowledge within your within your within your self knowledge and also between the between your relationships with other people because it helps it helps that for you to grow and stand as a person a better person so that's all for today that's the end of my topic thank you for listening and again I am Genevieve T. Apelia. God bless.